Hello, everyone. Welcome to this coffee break. My name is David Veilleux. I'm the product manager for the tubing product line at Edify. What is the tubing product line for us? So we're talking about the acquisition equipment, uh, the Actane 2 analysis software, we got Magnify. Of course, tubing probes, conventional and array, uh, as well as Iris and Probot, Pro Pusher Puller, and finally, Tube Pro. Uh, so today, We'll, we'll talk about the, um, our, our software for reporting. I'm going to just briefly talk what is 2Pro, why it is so important. Uh, and then I'll cover two new features that we got in 2Pro 5.5. We got a lot of stuff in, in 5.5. Uh, don't want to take your whole morning explaining all of them. Uh, so let's let's look at two, two, uh, two nice ones. And um, and if you ever want to know more, uh, reach out to us. There's the website uh, to have more details, and you can uh, contact us uh, any uh, anyway to uh, to learn more. So uh, if you ever have questions during the presentation, we got the uh, the comment section. Uh, I will try to overgo uh, to go answer them at the end. Um, uh, and your comments, um, questions are appreciated. This is what makes it uh, a nice session. So without further ado, let's dive into uh, Tube Pro. So I got my presentation here. So what is Tube Pro? So you know, a tubing inspection, uh, that's, that's, that's the core of it. We got the, the technicians, the probe, the PC with magnify on top of the ectane. So that's really goes what's going on in a tubing inspection. And, and that's that's the, the, the task to make. But at the end of the day, uh, no matter how hard you work, uh, how, how, how tough the conditions were, um, how experienced you are analyzing it, it all comes down to that 2D map of the results. So these, this is very important. Uh, this, that's the, the, the end goal of it uh, for the inspection company, but as well for the asset owner. Uh, they base their, their decision uh, they want to know what's going on in that exchanger to know if, if it's going to be fit for service for the next uh, three, five years down the road. So that's, that's very, very important. So to help to make the best report, we got two pro. So it's, it's a complete 2D and 3D pre-inspection and reporting software for each exchanger tubing inspections. So a lot of words in it, but what it means is that we can do everything from the beginning to the end of the tubing inspection. So we're starting with, with the tube list, the tubes to be inspected on that exchanger all the way to that nice PDF at the end. We offer temp, so it offers templates. Uh, the, the, the users, they build their own templates within the company. Uh, each company, service company, has its, its way of doing the reports. So, uh, so Tupro is very flexible in that sense. So you build all those templates. So everyone does the same report all the time. We got many visualization tools, charts, graphs, 3D model, 2D maps, etc. We got them all. And this is a software that is exclusively sold by Edify, but it's compatible with other manufacturers and the analysis results. So if, if you're not yet on, on using Magnify and Ectain, uh, you can still use 2Pro for your pr reporting process. So first features, uh, optimized database management for project properties in the templates. Uh, the, the, that's the, the goal there is to improve efficiency and standardization of final reports. So a lot of word seems a, a little bit complicated, but let's dive into it and I'll show you how once it's set up, it makes your life a lot easier uh, when doing the final report. So first we got properties. Uh, we, we call them project properties already in 2Pro. Uh, so that's there. It's the, uh, the, the link to the text. So the gray items, uh, they're automatically updated when the text is changed on the right side. So as many as those fields are put in the report and in the drawings, automatically they will be updated. What is new? is that we can link those properties to an Excel database. So you know you're doing the reports for the same clients year and over, year after year. Uh, so you don't have to type every time their, uh, their information for the, their, their, their main office, their job site. Uh, so everything can be set in the, um, in the Excel database. So for example, 
we got our clients list. We can uh, create a, um, a drop down list of our um, uh, all of our clients. Then automatically their address, city, state, zip, and phone are updated. Then we know that this client has three plans. So we can link everything together. And then again, address can be set. So we can do this for team members with their certification. We can do this for the acquisition equipment, uh, the calibration date feature, serial number, everything can be linked together. Same with probes. So I will uh, quit my, um, my presentation and I will show you in 2Pro what it is actually doing. Make sure, okay, so you see this very well. So we got the links. So here, for example, I got my drop down menu. I'm gonna select downstream expert refineries. They've got three plants that I work there. Let's say I select the lake complex and you will see here, if I hit the refresh button, the information will be changed directly in my report. So very quickly, in, in seconds, I went on changing two fields, two drop down menus, not even typing with my keyboard and getting all that information in my report. How it is based, it's we got the um, what we call the database. It's an Excel. So it's it's really an Excel spreadsheet that you can import. Uh, I know a lot of, of you uh, inspection companies use these kind of of uh, of, of, of um, I'm sorry, of database for the your clients or uh, your um, uh, your your equipment so what we can do is it's simply that we can open uh, if i'll have this here templates i got my database gonna open and yes i'm gonna update my links and i know that for example i got testing units i got the information and that's it and if i want to add a new client so a uh, new client, it's on a uh, coffee break uh, street, let's say. And go, we're gonna add another one like this. I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna go back to my properties and I, I'll have this new client already updated in my list and uh, automatically, these information will be added there. So very quickly, this can be uh, set up. We could do uh, the same again as I uh, in my database, I could create the links to um, uh, to my instrument list. So I got this, if I open it, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. So if I add this, the, the testing unit internal code with the model, serial number, calibration, I could link all these items together here in my properties uh, that are there. Uh, so I, I could uh, do the setup. So that's the, the, the new feature about uh, 2Pro that is very powerful for making the uh, report uh, faster. Uh, so you see this. Then the, um, the the one thing that, that is also very nice is that everyone is using the same wording, the same uh, same address, same details about about the clients or the way you work. Uh, so that could be important, especially when we're talking about material, um, the identification of the bundle, its location, etc. There are a lot of comments that you like, and sometimes inspection, most of the time, inspection companies like to keep it. Uh, standardized throughout the analysis uh, uh, team. Uh, so that's a nice tool for that. Next tool that we got uh, new in um, in 2Pro 5.5 is the 3D model of uh, the water tube boiler. Uh, most of the jobs you do are on um, a shell and tube heat exchanger, but it is a, 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 we, we know that uh, quite often you uh, you end up on a on a boiler inspection, uh, so this is added value for your client, making a nice uh, bundle uh, for them. So what I will do is that I will uh, simply create a new set of tubes. Let's say I will go with twenty tubes by uh, thirty. Uh, boiler tubes are a little bit bigger, so let's go for two and a half inch for this one. I'm going to use a pit, uh, pattern of 90 degrees and I'll use the standard 25% uh, distance between the tubes. So if I go, I created my set of tubes. 
now to make it look a little bit nicer i'm gonna select the about half of them so i got my line 10 here so i'm gonna select these ones uh, like this okay i'm gonna move them slightly okay like this looks a little bit better Even more okay now all i have to do is go in my 3d model by default it's a straight exchanger of course what i need to do is switch this to a uh, mud and steam drum boiler and here we go we got a 3d uh, model basic model uh so that's that's but it's done very quickly i can adjust the uh the distance between the uh the top the the mud drum and the steam drum so let's say i want to make it a little bit uh, shorter 250 inches i want to um, change the od of the uh, steam drum and the length as well so i can go with 125 inches makes it a little bit better i'm gonna do here uh, i'm gonna keep my uh, mud drum smaller but the same length so that's it we got the uh, the 3d model uh, and any anytime i will update my default in my um, my tube sheet we will be able to display the defects uh, inside uh, on the tubes uh, of all the exchanger we even have um, a more advanced way of de doing these uh, these um, boilers so um so if you want to if you want a, a more particular singular uh, design we can access this menu with specify a border editor i go in here and i have a lot more parameters to set up lastly uh let's say i'm gonna um, go back here to my map we got the, i wanted to show you i'm gonna clear everything and I want to show, take the time to show you, if you're not used to it, the um, uh, the templates, um, the photo detection. Sorry about that. So the capabilities we have. So for 2 Pro, if you ever get on the job and you take a picture of the exchanger, you can automatically create your tube sheet with a picture. So if when I have this picture like this, I can uh, set a region. Uh, sometimes to to break it in two it makes it a little bit easier for the software and automatically we see that the top uh, tubes have been identified and i can repay the process for the bottom tubes like this and now um we need to adjust the the scaling um for to uh, to adjust everything so this is very powerful uh we could also do um the same thing with the uh a pdf uh file so what i will do is i will go back here and i'm gonna load it from the um uh, this so this one here is the the, the big condenser we want to we want to we want to detect so we select the drawing we click on open automatically it will change the uh, the driver for the inspection and you saw on the pdf uh, that it was turned so what i need to do just to make sure it's like the pdf i'm just i'm going to click on this rotate 90 degrees uh, tubes i'm going to put them a bit smaller and that would be good i'm going to wait for the program I know this is not very often that you will get to inspect those exchangers, uh, but every year or two years, it does happen. And whenever it happens, uh, this is a major time saver. Uh, you see all the tubes have been detected. There is only a small one missing here, but I can easily add it and no problem with this feature. I put my cursor, I add it to the top. And I think here there's a little extra one uh, and then I remove it and that's it my all my condenser my 8000 tube condenser is already ready for the inspection with the list 
So if I go back just a little bit to my presentation, uh, the, the, we got a lot of other features in 2Pro. So first one is going to be comparison of tube to tube uh, inspection results. So we can add it to an extra uh, drawing. So if we have two data sets, we can compare the progression of the defects uh, for the old, old tube. We got a new complete report editor. Uh, in the past, uh, we got li we had limited capabilities, but now uh, full capabilities. So that that is uh, uh, very nice for the inspection data table that you add at the end of your report. We have a view of the back sheet. We added the display on the shell. Uh, we got a new import workflow, so important update. So whenever you're doing rescans of the data, you don't you can only reimport uh, just those tubes that you rescan. No need to uh, to 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 reimport everything, and we improved also the uh, the U band uh, display, uh, making the the defects shown in the bands and also linking top and bottom rows. And finally, it's uh, we've improved overall the speed and the stability of Two Pro. So as I showed. Another key feature is going to be the photo detection, always very useful. Take advantage of it. You simply have to take a picture. I think now with, with our phones, the, the cameras are getting better and better, so it, it makes good. Just make sure you're straight in front. It does help a little bit, the software, and we will be able to uh, detect these uh, exchanger. So that's that's pretty much it for uh, this morning. I don't want to take the, that too much too much time. Uh, so if you have uh, you're interested, you want to know more, uh, visit our, our page. Or if you got feedback, question, contact me on my email, uh, and also my LinkedIn page is also a good uh, reference if you want to know what is going on in our tubing inspection uh, product line. So uh, I will go back to my. Uh, interface to see if there are any. Um, uh, so, what is the uh, what type of license uh, is this? So, so for Two Pro, what we have is the. Um, uh, oh, sorry about that. Okay, so what we have here for uh, Two Pro, we got the um, a, a standard license. I mean, uh, whenever you buy uh, Two Pro. Uh, you get one year of, of updates, and after that is perpetual. You use it as it is. If you want to get upgrade, then we can we can arrange that with a, with a very small service fee uh, to get up to date. But whenever you buy two pro, you buy our key, and you have it. It's perpetual. So next one up, can I open my two pro four template in this new version? Yes, it is now a, a capability, a possibility for uh, two pro five. If you're still on two pro four and you've got your nice report template built in there, then we can import it and uh, adjust it. There, there's small uh, adjustment you need to make, but 98% of your, your, uh, your report will be there and you can, you will be off, uh, uh, up and running with two pro five in, uh, in very short time. Is the report based on an Excel or a Word document? So we got both. Uh, so whenever the way you work, um, we have Word. Uh, Word base um, is maybe sometimes they work a little bit better, uh, but still the capabilities of Excel are in the um, uh, in 2 Pro, uh, especially for the ones who, who started using 2 Pro 4 in the past. And now I want to move to, to Pro 5. So, we, yes, we do have the capabilities of having those two types of file, of, uh, of documents. And can I open my results from uh, MS5800 data? Yes, uh, we are compatible with the competitor. Uh, so whatever system you are using, it is possible to use 2 Pro. Uh, we don't, 2 Pro doesn't read data files. It only reads the results. We only read the the defects that you call, uh, so we we don't we we do not open the the data file themselves. It is not possible to analyze. Um, uh, it's not yeah, it's not possible to analyze the data. We only get the report. Uh, so whenever the analysis calls uh, to be added to the report, we import that in Two Pro. So uh, we are compatible with other systems. So 
I don't uh, see other questions. So thanks for uh, for joining me, and uh, let me know if you have uh, other questions.